Sandbox fight. Americans predict winner of Biden and Trump see an in-presidential debate. President Biden and former President Trump will meet on the debate stage Thursday for the first time in four years, and Americans told Z News they're expecting a dramatic showdown. I think it's gonna be a sandbox fight, Ava said in Chicago. Aldo from Fort Lauderdale, Florida, expects a mess, to be quite honest, while Jesse in Fresno said he anticipates a lot of name-calling and not much listening, not really expecting them to be respectful of their political opponent whatsoever, he said. Thursday will be the first debate between a sitting president and his predecessor. Biden and Trump will face off in front of CNN and moderators Dana Bash and Jake Tapper, but in a break from tradition, there won't be a live audience in the studio. In another unusual move, the candidates' microphones will be muted until it's their turn to respond, a strategy introduced during Trump and Biden's second 2020 showdown. The unprecedented change came after their first debate devolved into a glorified shouting match, according to CNN, with dozens of interruptions. Last time, Trump was a little bit overzealous, said Joshua in California. I'd like to see if he can calm down a little bit and kind of show a little more restraint when he's up there answering questions. Glenn from Phoenix predicted Trump would outlast his opponent. Depends if Biden's all pumped up on some type of stimulants to keep him going through the process, Glenn said while visiting Milwaukee, Wisconsin. I think they'll probably both do all right. They'll probably stay within their lanes unless they start butting heads, and then we're gonna see what they're really made of. Trump and some of his allies have long speculated without evidence that Biden cannot speak for sustained periods of time without the assistance of medication. The former president offered to submit to a drug test ahead of the debate if Biden were also required to take one. I think Mr. Trump will do excellent, one Sevierville, Tennessee, woman said. I think he'll knock him out of the ballpark. When it comes to the content of the debate, Juan in Chino Hills, California, said he hopes both of the candidates are true and answer the questions honestly. Voters across the country said they're interested in hearing the candidates talk about the economy, immigration, foreign policy, reproductive rights and more. I want them to talk about the issues that are at hand and less about all the cultural divides that everybody has been fighting over," said Byron from Birmingham, Michigan. But most people or Z News spoke with said the debate isn't likely to change who they cast their vote for come November. I think my mind is already made up four years ago, one man in Fresno said. Nicholas Lanham reported from New York City, Gabriel Hayes reported from Alexandria, Virginia, Albacuba's Fantazzi reported from Knoxville, Tennessee, Chris and Altus reported from Fort Lauderdale, Florida, Joshua Q. Nelson reported from Birmingham, Michigan, Josepha. Wolfson reported from Chicago, Illinois. Kira Matone reported from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Ashley Carnahan reported from Chino Hills, California. And Christopher Lopez reported from Fresno, California.